morning, YouTube. I decided this weekend I would film my new camera gear. You might have noticed in my last few videos that the uh, the content has looked a little different than typical. Uh, as promised in the beginning when I started this channel, I was intending on uh, picking up some new gear as I could afford it along the way. Since then, I've done that. I've got uh, two new cameras, two new lenses, uh, a couple different mounting solutions, uh, different tripods. I'm going to share that with you today. So I filmed my morning coffee. I did that all on my new Canon T3i. It's not a new camera, but it is uh, far better than what I have been using, which is this here, um, Canon Vixia HFR 800 with a Vivitar wide angle lens. So this is more of a, this is a camcorder. This is 100% dedicated to video, but we kinda, we honestly got this just to film family video throughout the years. And I, 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 I hijacked it to, to make our YouTube videos. So I have since retired that back to its duty as a uh, family camcorder. So as I was saying, uh, all of the coffee footage I filmed with my Canon T3i with an EF 50 millimeter uh, F 1.8 STM lens. So that 50 mil millimeter lens is a prime lens, which means you can't zoom with it. You can only adjust the focal point, which makes for some really neat artistic style shots, which I've really enjoyed in other people's videos and, and knew I wanted to do that uh, with my channel. The camera I'm filming on right now is a Canon EOS Rebel T4i with the uh, EFS 10 to 18 millimeter f 4.5 to 5.6 STM lens. So I'm at its widest right now, which is 10 millimeters. And then I can zoom in to 18 millimeters. This is a really nice lens for capturing. It's a wide angle lens for capturing a lot in, in a, like I'm literally maybe 18 inches from the camera right now. And you can see a whole bunch. So it's nice to be able to hold the camera in your hand have it right close to your face, but have a nice wide view so it doesn't feel like you're right up in my face. Um, so uh, yeah, this is the T4i. I have a T3i. Spec-wise, they're very similar. The T4i is the first Canon Rebel series camera that incorporated autofocus in video. All Rebels prior to that that had video uh, was all manual focus. So my T3i is a manual focus, which is fine for the 50 milliliter lens. It allows me to manually control the focal, focal depth and and uh, get some neat shots. Whereas this camera, I wanted it to have autofocus so I'm not having to film and adjust the, the fo focus ring as I'm talking. Um, if I get close, I'm looking at the screen right now. Yeah, so it's focused on my face. If I move back, it might be hard to tell because I'm further away, but it should focus automatically back onto my face. So that makes vlogging and filming a little bit easier for me. One last thing I gotta worry about. I also have a GoPro Hero 3. I don't have it on me right now, but I used that back in my 2020 Wisconsin Whitetail season video uh, to get some footage of us hunting. I'll try and incorporate that more uh, as I find suitable. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the GoPro footage. But there's a time and a place for it, and as I see fit, I will incorporate that to get some neat footage too. So on top of my T4i, which I'm talking to right now, I have a, a Rode VideoMic Go and DeadCat. So the DeadCat is the fuzzy surround on the mic, and this allows me to pick up some, some more uh, clear audio than, than the in uh, internal mic in the camera. And with the DeadCat, when I'm outside talking to you guys, uh, if there's any wind or anything, the internal mic would just, it would get all blown out and you couldn't hear what I was saying with this external mic with dead cat that cuts down on the wind and you should be able to hear my voice a little bit better. I also picked up a newer or newer, I don't know how to pronounce the company's name, but they're, they're a pretty big uh, photography and, and videography camera company, or I shouldn't say camera, but accessory company. I don't know if they have cameras of their own or not. Um, but I picked up one of their tripods, which has some pretty neat features to it to allow me to get different um, angles when I'm filming. For instance, when I'm filming, like my last video, the um, venison jerky, it would have been nice to have this tripod at that time to get some straight down shots of me um, extruding the jerky or something, just to get some different angles. It allows you to get really close to the ground for macro type of photography and videography. You can take one of the legs off and turn it into a monopod 
which is just a little, it's less to carry around, but it still gives you some level of stability. It's a, it's a nice feature to have. Uh, I also have sandbags hanging from it to uh, counterbalance it, which is nice when you have the arm extended out to get those straight overhead shots, uh, like I mentioned when making food or something, uh, to give you guys some good angles. Um, what my camera's on right now, my T4i, it's sitting on a, a Joby Gorillapod mount. This is the, the 3K kit. That allows me to get some lower angle shots. Uh, I can hold the gorilla tripod legs basically and I can bend them and use it as a uh, to film myself in my hand basically. It's lightweight. I can move it around really easily. I took a shot here of it on my chair. You can wrap the legs around different objects to get it to mount and hold steady which is really convenient. It's a nice feature to have when you're out in the field and you might not be able to hold the camera when you're doing something but you want to get a nice shot of something. Uh, so that'll be a nice thing to have. So yeah, those are the uh, the primary new gear components that I have: the the cameras and the uh, the mic lenses and the the tripods, the mounting solutions that are going to allow me to get some a little more high quality and and more uh, cinematic type footage. With 2020 being a little bit more of a uh, financially disheartening year. Uh, I wanted to make sure I wasn't spending too much money on my camera gear, but at the same time, I wanted to spend enough that I was getting quality gear. I actually purchased both of my cameras uh, used locally and got screaming deals on them. And my lenses I purchased refurbished from Canon, so they have a one-year warranty on them. The tripods were new, and the Rode mic with the dead cat were also used, purchased online through Facebook Marketplace. I mentioned in one of my first couple of videos that uh, I did some videography and photography when I was younger. Uh, in high school I took some photography classes and a uh, mass media videography class. One of my first cameras was a Canon Rebel T1i. I purchased that with my own money in high school and uh, filmed a handful of different videos uh, with my friends, did a lot of photography. Uh, and then after going off to college and starting my career, I kind of just fell out of sync with my passion for photography and videography. Starting this YouTube channel has been uh, pretty exciting to get back into that um, and back into my Canon Rebel series. I say that because I, I sold my T1i for some funds to pick up these two new cameras. So I'm going to start uh, editing this video that you're watching right now and finish off my cold coffee. I hope you're enjoying the videos so far, and a uh, few of you have reached out to me and, and left me some feedback, which I greatly appreciate. Uh, it's always great to hear from you guys, see what kind of uh, content you're interested in me filming, what I've done right, what I've done wrong, what I can improve on. Uh, I really appreciate that. I don't want this video to drag on too long, so uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. That'd be greatly appreciated. Leave some feedback for me. Hope everybody's having a good uh, 2021 so far.